if you feel confident with what you learned in the last section, uh, how to find the equation of line when you're given two points, then this lesson is pretty much already done. You just have to know how to react uh, to only being given the slope already and then just one point. Um, so basically, you'll still need to know the point-slope form uh, equation um, because we'll have to plug in the x and y values from that point. And since we already have the slope, we'll plug that straight in there. Um, find the slope intercept of the equation of a line that has m equals 5 and 948 is a point that the line goes through. So this is the line slope, and this is a point that the line goes through. So what is m? Well, it's 5, so that part's already done for us. Then we use the point-slope equation to plug in m in one of the points. So let's get us a, a little bit more space here to work with. Um, I'm going to write 948 here, and I'm going to write m equals 5 right there so we can remember what it was. This plugs in right here. This 9 plugs in right here. And this 48, since it's a y value, plugs in right there in the y1 slot. So let's just go and copy that down. Y minus, let's see it's positive 48, so I'll just write 48 there. Don't worry about those parentheses, we don't really need them. Okay. And the M is a 5. We'll plug that in for the M. X stays right there, but the X1 is what I need to make into a positive 9. So now we just have to go and turn it into slope-intercept form. Uh, distribute. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times negative 9 is negative 45. Didn't do anything to the left side of the equation. So we'll just pull that down. Since the y is minusing 48, we can add 48 to that side. And that makes it nothing. And then we can add 48 to this side. And we're left with y equals 5x plus 3. And that's the equation of the line that goes through 948 and has a slope of 5. See how the slope will be 5 right there? So um, that's all that it is. It's, it's much easier uh, than what you had to go through for lesson 5.9. But there is that pesky situation of what do you do when you have a fraction as a slope? So this is what's given to us. We know that we're going to use this equation, y minus y1 equals slope, and then x minus x1 is multiplying it. So let's just go and plug in what we know. Careful not to put this 9 in for the y. This is an x, and this is a y. Be careful you don't fall for that trap. Sometimes I do. There we go. And now, we just have to worry about the distribution. And this is where people usually get a little concerned. Well, because there's nothing in front of the x, it's just going to become whatever that fraction is times the x, so it becomes, you know, they just merge together. One-third times one is one-third. So that part's the easy one. And then what you really hope for is a nice, easy setup with this last part, the one-third times the negative nine. So if you plug it into your calculator or you work it out manually, you quickly see that it equals negative 3, and then you go, okay, it's, it's no big deal. But you, you handle it doing the exact same thing. You still multiply all the terms that are inside that parentheses by one-third. So the distribution's done. We've got rid of the parentheses now, um, thankfully, because we don't have a, a weird fraction. Um, we can simply add 4 to both sides and be done with very limited amount of work. And there's our equation for the line that has a slope of one-third and goes through the point nine-fourths.